Hello students, today we are going to study about the sources of the pollution. Like what are the major sources of the pollution? Okay, so first of all we can divide the sources of pollution like what are the reasons uh, for uh, the air pollution. Okay, we can divide this into two categories that can be natural sources and man made sources. Okay, so first of all sources of pollution. Okay. Sources of pollution can be divided into two categories which is first is natural sources and second is man made sources. Okay. So first of all what we are studying about, we are studying about sources of pollution. What is the meaning of this? Like what are the reasons why we can see lot of pollution? What are the major reasons for the pollution? It can be divided into two categories. First is natural sources and second is man made sources. To start with, now just let me know what is the meaning of uh, natural sources that means the reason the uh, sources which is uh, created by nature itself okay that means uh, all we can say in the other way that the sources of the pollution for uh, that human beings are not responsible okay and the other one is main man made sources that is whole and soul human beings are responsible for creating such kind of reasons okay for creating such kind of sources. So uh, if we study this thing now we are going to study this thing in detail we will find that obviously natural sources of pollution is uh, very less is very less is you know it is uh, negligible in comparison to the sources uh, of pollution which we are creating. Hmm? So first of all we are studying sources of pollution means what are the reasons of the pollution and uh, uh, just to recall we are studying here air pollution ok. So first of all we are going to discuss with the first one that is natural resources ok. So I will just make this as a column so that I may discuss now this one. So first of all this one can be I will just write the things dust storms, volcanic eruption, the third one can be decay of the substances or decay of the waste ok and the fourth one can be forest fire and the fifth one can be I will just discuss first four first of all. See we are now discussing the reasons which are created by the nature and you all know these reasons are very very negligible ok. Now to begin with the first one is the storm. Now see uh, many a times we have witnessed heavy storms ok which uh, brings in the air the you know more of dust particles more of uh, certain you know like maybe the uh, particles which are there in the nature which uh, which is there in the like created by human hmm? but it uh, flows from one place to another maybe because of the storms ok. So what is there now especially when I talk about the storms. So what is the main reason for pollution over here is dust means particle of dust 
which becomes the which comes in the air which uh, which becomes visible why because when wind blows uh, with a great speed okay so even the dust uh, get carried away with the wind and it uh, it becomes visible in the nature so this is the reason for the for creating of pollution but you know i think uh, this is the most negligible part uh, dust storms like hardly we uh, see one or two uh, heavy storms i can say in our lives and uh, sometimes uh, like till now i haven't seen even a single storm in my life where i can see a lot of dust particles flying in the air and like this yeah sometimes uh, heavy wind blows for few minutes where we can see like particles are moving but again it gets settled down okay so like what i mean to explain is the reasons which are created by the nature is quite negligible in comparison to the reasons which we are creating yes okay now second is volcanic eruptions now children when the volcanoes occur okay due to volcanic eruptions many gases come into uh, the uh, it get mixed up with the atmosphere and many particles like you know many uh, Uh, many uh, i should say uh, all the uh, lava which comes out it becomes a part of the uh, like it comes on the surface of the earth and along with that like lot of gases comes into the atmosphere it becomes a part of the atmosphere and it pollutes the atmosphere that is it okay now decay of the substances now what is the meaning of the decay see whenever we talk about decay the substances which are going to be decayed will be obviously which kind of substances biodegradable substances hmm? now what is the meaning of the biodegradable substances biodegradable means what see bio means life and degradable means the things which can be degrade can be broken down into the smaller ones so i i can talk about bio biodegradable and non bio degradable biodegradable means what the the those substances which are part of the nature and obviously again after uh, like when bacteria or when the microorganism will act upon them again it will just get convert into the soil okay now the examples of the biodegradable substances can be like cow dung okay uh, maybe the vegetables okay like lot many things like uh, even the even the dead bodies okay that means the thing which is uh natural okay and obviously when the things are natural it will obviously will become part of the nature and so it is known as what biodegradable means when the bacteria and the microorganisms work upon that when the microorganisms act upon that it again becomes a part of the nature so what we are studying here is decay of the waste material so when the waste material uh, get decayed okay so what happens certain gases comes out of that uh, which kind of gases comes out ammonia comes out and even methane is released okay so this ammonia and methane it is released due to the decay of the dead uh, organism or maybe the um, biodegradable substances so these gases what what the what these gases are responsible for like you know these are responsible for the uh, kind of adding a pollution okay uh, in the air 
now in further chapter we are going to study about the you know, gases which are responsible for greenhouse effect so then you will understand that how these kind of gases it affects the atmosphere but again i will say i will stick on the same thing that the uh, re, that the amount of pollution which is created by us is uh, like we cannot compare it with a natural one okay so this was about the decay of the waste material whenever the waste material get decayed so i'll tell you one thing whenever you pass uh, you know along uh, you are moving on a road and uh, very bad smell smell comes out sometimes you know maybe because the whole uh, part that area is having lot of you know um, uh, garbage waste material is there so why this uh, smell comes out because the um, all the substances are being broken up by the microorganism are been broken up means what slowly they are becoming the part of the nature and so the gases are released and these gases are responsible for creating false smell okay so we are saying ki, oh uh, it's smelling so badly so what is happening actually nothing but just the things are being decayed it is being uh, broken up by the um, microorganisms and so the gases are released okay now next one is forest fire now see what happens to the forest fire now um, when the uh, forest is burning okay obviously forest means what is burning lot of woods are being burned are being burned nahi i should say are burning suppose okay why because it is a natural forest fire i'm talking about so when the forest burns what happens what is burning when i'm saying wood is burning wood is having what carbon so when carbon is burning what will comes out what will come out the gases like carbon dioxide will come out some if the combustion is incomplete then carbon monoxide will come out okay some uh, unburned hydrocarbons will be there okay how burn things what what i should say so when all these kind of things get mixed up with the nature again it what what happens it pollutes the nature now in this you know some carbon particles are also there okay some carbon particles are also there so when all these come together so what happen you know due to burning even the ash get you know deposited over there so uh, like due to burning the gases are released okay see carbon dioxide carbon monoxide all these gases are being increased in the nature are come are becoming the part of the nature and along with that when these trees are burning and after burning the trees are getting converted into ash so this ash also becomes a part of the atmosphere it spreads like anything in the atmosphere and it becomes difficult to uh, like visibility also get decreased um, and so it increases the pollution but again i will say one thing uh, like you know earlier we used to see we used to find like you know in uh, olden days there used to be a huge forest fire how is it happens i uh, agree with that but again the chances you know are like the reasons of the creation of the um, um what to say like uh, pollution is very less uh, in comparison to the uh, pollution which is being created by the human beings now the next one what we are going to study is about the pollen grains now what is the meaning of pollen grains i think you all must be knowing like pollen grains are what these are the male reproductive uh, i i should say responsible for the reproduction in the plants okay male gametes so 
during uh, reproductive period when this pollen grains comes out it get released and so what happens this pollen grains also becomes a part of the nature it becomes a part of the atmosphere I should say rather and it flies in the sky it flies with the air and so it becomes it, what does it do it become it pollutes the atmosphere now what happens due to the pollen grains you know the person uh, or the animals they keep on uh, like they sneeze continuously even the pollen grains are responsible for creating some kind of allergies ok. So, uh, these pollen grains create a uh, sort of pollution in the air. So, first of all to discuss with we are discussing here I will write here air pollution also. Okay. So, we are discussing here the reasons for the air pollution. Now, we can divide the reasons of air pollution into two categories. First is man made category or the reasons or the sources which kind of sources natural sources and the, diff and the other one is man made sources. As I have explained to you before man made sources means what the pollution which is created by human beings and the natural sources means what the pollution which is being created by the nature. Now first of all we are discussing about the natural uh, sources of the pollution. Now when we discuss this the first one among it is what dust storms that means when the uh, storm when the, when the wind blows very fast and due to this the dust particle becomes a part of the air. Volcanic eruption when the volcano erupts certain kind like you know various kind of gases comes out and these gases become the part of the atmosphere and pollute the atmosphere ok. Uh, the next is decay of the substances when the substances are decayed, when the substances are degraded, hmm? now which kind of substances obviously biodegradable substances, when biodegradable substances get degraded, when they get decayed, when they are being uh, like microorganisms act upon these kind of substances, what happen? Gas comes out, the gases get released, which kind of gases get released? Ammonia and methane these gases comes out and they pollute the atmosphere. Now the next one is forest fire. Now what happens in the forest fire? Due to fire in the um, forest different kind of gases get released like carbon dioxide, like carbon monoxide and these gases uh, pollute the atmosphere along with that certain carbon particles also can be seen in the atmosphere, can be seen in the air ok. Now, last one is pollen grains. When the pollen grains they uh, fly as they uh, become the part of the air, the animals or the human beings they uh, certain uh, kind of pollen grains they create allergies ok. They are responsible for creating allergies and so these pollen grains are responsible for again we can say these are responsible for polluting the atmosphere. So, what we have studied till now is what about the natural sources. Now, we are going to study about the man made sources, ok. Ok. So, when we talk about man made sources, see, I will tell you one thing. Human beings are the last one to come on the surface of the earth. Yeah, are you getting my point? Like when we see the evolution, course of evolution, like when the like, um, zooplanktons and really like very small, small uh, living organisms were there, amphibians were there, and reptiles were there, okay, uh, then birds, mammals, human beings uh, came in the last. Okay. But human beings are responsible to destroy the nature most ok. Means due to human beings like at present we are standing at the urge of like you know 
uh, our like destruction ok. So, whatever is happening it is all is because of the activity of human beings. See uh, it does not means that I am totally against or uh, one is totally against uh, for the development ok. Without developing ourselves, without developing uh, our country, without making bridges, without making all uh, you know bringing revolution in the technologies one cannot survive because the other countries are going uh, will uh, are always there you know to pull you down. But at the same time we have we are responsible to keep our nature you know cleaner to keep our nature uh, in a condition that at least it uh, does not stops uh, you know trusting you that means uh, see now in the further chapter we are going to study that how uh, the climatic conditions are being you know changing and this can be responsible for the destruction of the whole earth. Just imagine the whole earth is under water. So, it is our duty to take care of our mother earth ok. So, now we are going to see how human being is responsible for the destruction of the earth or how human being is responsible for creating air pollution ok. So, now we are going to study about man made sources ok. You know the biggest reason for the uh, pollution is what the biggest see there are many reasons ok. But the major reason which everybody can uh, see is what the use of the vehicles yes the use of the vehicles ok. So, you know what happens when the fuel like uh, petrol, diesel and all these are being used in the vehicles. So, what happens when these uh, vehicles are being used run and these hydro these, these uh, fuels you know when they burn when they burn they obviously the gases will be released no vehicles are responsible for creating which kind of gases. See carbon dioxide is the gas which comes out everywhere whenever the carbon is burning carbon dioxide is the gas which is going to come out ok. And we have learned in one of the chapter before in I think metals and non metals that when carbon is not burned properly ok. So, what will happen? What will happen? Carbon monoxide will be released and again this carbon monoxide is also very very harmful actually you know what happens our blood ok. Our blood it combines with oxygen ok blood combines with means what happens you know hemoglobin I should say rather it combines hemoglobin I am so sorry I used the uh, word blood over here hemoglobin combines with the oxygen and oxyhemoglobin is being formed oxyhemoglobin is formed ok. But when oxygen the amount of oxygen get decreased and how it decreased because hemoglobin ok HB HB is very much uh, you know it combines more readily more easily with the carbon monoxide than in comparison to oxygen that means what hemoglobin has greater affinity hmm? hemoglobin has greater affinity towards carbon monoxide in comparison to the oxygen. So, what happens? Now, hemoglobin combines with carbon monoxide and then what happens then the uh, obviously when it is combining with carbon monoxide the amount of oxygen which is carried by the hemoglobin will decrease and it give rise to various kind of diseases ok. It, it will give rise to suffocation, it will give rise to you know like uh, various kind of lung diseases ok. So, these are responsible uh, for creating many kind of diseases in our body. So, what is a 
what is coming out? Carbon dioxide is coming out, carbon monoxide is coming out, even NO2 you know, uh, comes out, ok then these all gases are responsible for creating uh, pollution in uh, our ok. So, uh, and what can be the other gases like sulfur dioxide. So, all these gases, these gases comes out and these gases are responsible for creating or for polluting our atmosphere ok. So, and you know along with these gases something else also comes out when I told you like when you know, hydrocarbons are not burned properly ok. Then what happens the particles also the suspended particles also can be seen in the atmosphere. So, the particles of the even I have to rub oxyhemoglobin ok. So, all these comes into the all these comes into the atmosphere and become the part of the atmosphere ok. So, even the carbon particles So, all this become the part of the atmosphere and these pollutes the atmosphere like anything. You know it has been told uh, like the number of vehicles which have been increased suddenly. Uh, if you take an example of Delhi only if you try to keep the vehicles which are registered in the Delhi RTO one after the other it will give you the length which will be equivalent to the two big rivers like Amazon and Neil uh, uh, river ok. So, uh, uh, these Nile and uh, this uh, Amazon river just imagine the length of these two rivers and this can be the uh, length when the uh, cars or when the vehicles which are registered is kept uh, one after the other. These vehicles can be you know like uh, just the number of vehicles are increased day by day what uh, what what can be the reason behind this you know like uh, due to the availability of the vehicles very easily like you know if we talk about olden like you know few 10 years uh, back. So, uh, the scenario used to be like uh, in a house we used to have uh, uh, like two vehicles like uh, maybe one car along with that one maybe one uh, one odd bike ok any bike maybe uh, like whatever. But now what is the scenario the number of vehicles are equal to the number of the members in the family and that means the more number of vehicles in uh, one particular house itself and just calculate the number of vehicles uh, in a particular city. And these vehicles are obviously responsible for creating pollution uh, and responsible for creating various kind of diseases also which we are going to study all together ok. Now the second reason which I want to discuss is about industries ok. See when we talk about industry lot many industries are there uh, rubber industry, paper industry, chemical industry, cracker industry lot and lot like there is no like it is an endless list of the industries and you know all the industries all the industries will release the uh, certain kind of waste maybe in the form of the fumes 